And what's your name, please? My name is Bonavega. Let's rock and roll. Hit it, baby. Oh, that's great. What? Okay. Uh, no questions. I'm scared. <laughs> Are you scared? I have no idea. Again is uh, Bona Vega. Let me let me start with uh, Howie. When you came out with the makeup and you didn't talk and you opened and I see you wearing is that Miley Cyrus's outfit? Who is it? it? Should be right. Yeah, but when I saw you wearing that, I thought this is going to be a joke. And you are so far this season my biggest surprise. Wow. I had no idea. Yes. Thank you. I mean, it's rock and roll. It's camp. It's theater. It's the, the and and you have a mullet. I'm not, I'm not trying to rub it in, you know. <laughs> uh, Heidi. I just love everything about you. I really do. I mean, Thank it you. just blew my mind. I also love that you don't really overthink what you're wearing or how you look. You don't think that's <laughs> overthought? I, I think you really thought <laughs> you don't, what That you doesn't seem wearing. underthought. What's your name? My name is Patrick Kuhn. Patrick? And yes. where are you from, Patrick? I'm from Pittsburgh. Wow, Pittsburgh. My husband is from Pittsburgh. He loves Pittsburgh. You love the Steelers? Of course. Okay. <laughs> All right. We got that out of the way. And what do you do for a living? I do magic. That's great. Were you born with magical powers? Well, I saw my soul a long time ago. Good, good, good. <laughs> then you're very welcome here. <laughs> Are you married? I am married, yes. Okay. Uh, actually, last year. Is she a fan or your assistant or? Uh, she liked magic before, and now I think she's a little bit tired of it. Wait, tired of it. she liked magic. <laughs> <laughs> the magic is gone already after one year. <laughs> well, she thinks I love magic more than her, so yeah. No, I love both. Well, I, I will if not you be do well and win the million dollars, she'll love you regardless. Of course, yes. Oh my God. <laughs> Go for it. Would you mind if I join you guys downstairs? Please. Join us. Please. Awesome. Please do. So I know this may sound a little bit strange, but the end is the beginning. I brought with me a deck of cards, and this will make sense in just a few moments. 
Simon, a brand new deck of cards. Can you please unwrap the deck for me? Yeah. Just pull this little seal out. Perfect. And I'm gonna take this out. A brand new deck of cards come factory sealed with sticker. And as you can see, every deck of cards come in brand new deck orders. Jokers and the ad cards. We don't need those. All the cards, Simon, your shuffle, please. Give a deck a nice mix and shuffle. He's almost as good as Sophia. Yeah, the shuffle. Exactly. <laughs> he's almost as good as me. <laughs> good? Perfect. Now watch closely. The first one, the Ace of Spades from Shuffle Deck. The Ace of Spades. And the rest in just a few seconds. Each one of the Ace is for each of you. The Spade, the Diamond, the Clubs, and the Hearts. You can see there's markers on the table. I want you to sign on the card nice and big so we know that these are the only Aces that exists in this world with your name on it. Sign our name? Yes, make it nice and big. Perfect, I'm gonna take the cards, show the camera, the hearts, the clubs, the diamonds, and the spades. You know why most people don't believe magic? It's because they haven't seen real magic. Watch closely. As the first one travel, invisibly. From invisible card, become <gasps> visible. Hi. You're kidding me. I'll do, do it, it one again. more time. <laughs> oh, from here, watch. <laughs> no, I'm like, we're in what? shock. We're in How shock. We? I'm, yeah. Look, one last one. Check this out. You're amazing. Can you please hold out your hands? Hold my hand up? Put your hand on top. Okay. I'm gonna take the deck, watch closely. Ace of hearts, this time in slow motion. One, two. Do you feel it? Lift up your hand. Lift the up my hand? Yes. Open your hands. The ace of hearts. What? It traveled wow. back. Wow. How, How did that happen? Check this out. Tonight, I want to leave you with a piece of mystery. All the aces has your name on it. And I'll do it one more time, and this time in reverse. So watch closely. Sophia and Heidi, mm -hmm. I want you to please lift up your hands, hold out your hands. And I want to hold both your hands out like this, extend them out, face down, both hands, both hands. Yes, perfect. I want you to cover on top, cover on top like this, perfect. Hold it nice and tight. You know, this may sound a little bit strange. The N is the beginning. The beginning is the end. Ladies, slowly lift up your hands. We made it back. Oh. A brand new sealed deck of cards. It's really good. Wait, we've been here before. Simon, you know what to do. I know what to do. That's your job. Take out the cellophane. Look, every brand new deck of cards come factory sealed with sticker. I take out all the cards out. No. And we're in there. You're kidding me. No. Brand new card. Ace to king, ace to king, ace to king. Except for one difference. The ace of spade has your name on it. Wait, not just that. Look, the ace of clubs with your name on it. The ace of diamonds with Sophia's name on it. And the last but not least, Howie, your ace of hearts. Thank you so much. Hope you guys enjoy the ride. It was happening right in front of our eyes, like this close. How on earth did you do this? I saw my soul a long time ago. You good. <laughs> that was special. That was like mind blowing. You were like right in front of us. You're amazing. Thank you so much. Thank Very you. good. Simon, there are certain things that can't be explained, which means it's magic. 
people laugh at me for saying that, but I do believe in it. Of course. And I liked your whole presentation was very cool. Yeah. Uh, it was a really, really, really good audition. Well done. First of all, I hope you win because I want, I want you to love your wife. Of I course. want to bring the magic More back. More than magic. Yes, equal at least. Anyway, yes. let's vote. Heidi? I'm going to start it with a yes. Thank you so much. Sophia? Yes. Thank you. Simon? You got your third yes. Four yeses. Yes. He was so good. How did he get us back in the deck? It's one thing to watch magic, but when it's happening against your own flesh, like yeah. it's under your hand yeah. and you don't feel anything it's changing, so that proves magic. Hello. Hello. And what's your name, please? My name's Peter Antonio. You sound British. I am indeed British. I grew up in London and I recently moved to Seattle, Washington. Did you? This is a real beard. It's amazing. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, I'm half Greek, so this is sort of, I came out of the womb with this, basically. It's so, good. So. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so tell us your story, Peter. So when I was nine, I was on holiday and I bought a tarot deck just on a bit of a whim. I was always a bit of a weird kid. And ever since then, I've sort of been fascinated with developing sort of psychic powers and being able to read into people's minds. So since then, I've just been building that into a career. Interesting. And Peter, this means something to you to do well in this competition? Yeah, I knew that moving to America was going to be like a big risk. But I knew that I wanted more for myself and doing well in America's Got Talent is the sort of the key to unlocking all of that. So it means so much to me. OK, well, look, I'm not going to ask any more questions. Uh, we're all wishing you the best of luck. Thank you very much. So let's do it. So in my 20s, I actually worked as a psychic. So people used to ask questions about their love life or their career. But every now and then, someone would ask whether I could use my abilities to find something that they'd lost whether that was an item of jewellery or the family gold. Um, let me show you what I mean. Terry, will you come out here and join us? Sure. Terry Crews, everyone. <laughs> so, to replicate the experience of losing something, I made our own America's Got Talent house. Um, so each room is themed for one of the judges. So, Harry, we've got your room. We've got a little microphone in there for your new podcast. And um, Terry, we've got your gym with some little dumbbells for you. <laughs> Sophia, I know that you love fine dining, so we've got some food in there for you and an x-ray of teeth, because I know that you have a background in dentistry. <laughs> um, Heidi, your love of fashion, but also painting, so we've got lots of art supplies in there for you and a cat, because I know you recently got a cat. Um, and Simon, I've put the things that you love the most in the world for your room, so we've got your dogs and pictures of you. Um, so... <laughs> but something's going to go missing from this house. Terry, I'm going to look away in a moment. I want you to pick something from the house and make it go missing. Hide it somewhere, OK? okay. So I'll look away so that okay. you... No, I'm not looking. And just choose an object, anyone that you like, and hide it somewhere, and let me know as soon as you've done that. OK. Done? Yes. Perfect. Something that I learned is actually we're all far more similar than we realise. People tend to lose their objects in mostly the same places, which made my job a lot easier. In fact, I actually recorded a voicemail message just to save myself time. In fact, to save time, I'll just play it for you. You're through to Peter. I'm unable to take your call right now, but if you're looking for a lost object, Taurus's, it's under the stairs. Libras, it's behind the sofa, and if you're a Leo called Terry Cruz, the baseball bat's in your left pocket. And is that right? Did you choose the baseball bat? And is yes. it in your left pocket? Yeah, I did. <laughs> what in the world? And I realise that's a phone message, so the sceptical amongst you might be thinking, oh, he just has a thousand voicemails saved. So I also went analog. Thank you so much, Terry. Thank you. Thank you. For America's Got Talent, I want to push my skills much further. So, do any of the judges have an item of jewellery they're really connected to? Sophia, I can see your engagement ring there. Um, I want you to relive the memory of your engagement. Maybe think of a detail that only you and Joe know, maybe your close family, something that there's no way I could know. Yep. Got something in mind? Now, 
Sophia, will you um, take off your engagement ring and hand it to Simon, please? You can trust him, don't worry. Christ. <laughs> My God. What? So now Simon has that engagement ring that means so much to you, we're going to lose it. No, no. Judges, oh. stand up and come with me. What the heck? Let's go, people. Oh. So as you can see, whilst you were watching the other act, I laid out a thousand ring boxes. Simon, you're now gonna go and lose Sophia's ring in one of the boxes. So in a moment, Sophia and I are gonna turn away so that we can't peek at all, and you can walk around the room and choose one of the boxes and put Sophia's ring in it. Happy with that? Yeah. Perfect. Sophia, yeah. we're gonna look away so that we can't see... Any box. Look away, so it can be a surprise for you as well as me. Okay. I'm gonna get a bigger diamond? No. <laughs> Any box you like, Simon. No peeking. Where do you get this many white boxes? I said, change my mind. Um, I ordered them online, and there was a lot of very confused phone calls about why I wanted them. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, done. We turn around? Yeah. Yep. Okay, so you've hidden the, the ring somewhere. Now it's my job to try and find it. Sophia? Yes. I want you to bring to mind the memory that is attached to that ring. So everything about it, the details that only you know, the clearer it is in your mind, the more likely it is that I'll be able to find your ring. It's very clear. Very clear in yes. your mind. I'm going to set off. <laughs> Okay, so just keep reliving that memory in your mind and just sort of guide me, like as if you, as if you did know where it was. You're just sort of, you're magnetically drawn to what, no. All right, just keep. Oh, I think I know where it is. So have you got a psychic impression? What? Why? Are you psychic too now? Oh. When when you proposed, you weren't at home, were you? You were you were somewhere else. You were far away. Yes. Yes. And the plans had to change for your engagement. Yes. It, yes. Yes. Um, oh yeah. Uh huh. Sophia, how confident are you that I'm holding your ring? Like zero. Zero? Yeah. There's no way you know that that's there. Your ring, with all the memories and emotions attached, you guided me to your lost ring. You didn't even know where it was. So let's see how we did. Your ring. And there's a detail. I'm going to throw up. But there's a detail about your engagement that's sort of stuck in your mind that no one knows. Joe got down on one knee, and as he did, there was a rainbow. Is that correct? Yes. <laughs> yes, what? I am sort of down on my knee, Sophia, so you could put me out of my misery any time you like. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect, thank you very much. How did you know that? Where was the rainbow? He was going to propose by the ocean, but then he panicked and he came upstairs to the room and proposed to me in the room. And then suddenly he gave me the ring and said, and I look up and there was a rainbow. So from watching this show, as I love America's Got Talent, I realized that you, Simon, and Howie are BFFs. We love each other. We do. I know, from watching the show, no, right? we actually do. But they say a friendship will only last if they have a subconscious connection. So I want to test out your subconscious connection up on stage right now, Simon and Howie, in front of America. So come on, come up. You're up for it. Lovely to meet you, Simon. Welcome. Lovely to meet you. You good? 
We've never done this before. No. It's like never. Being, it's like being Amazing. on a date. It is. I'm really nervous. Scream if you guys need help. We'll run and get you. Yeah. Thank you. You ready? <laughs> yeah. Perfect. So now, as you can see, I have two decks of cards here and a blindfold. So Simon, you're the boss. So choose the red deck or the blue deck. The blue deck, perfect. So as you can see, we'll get rid of the box. These are all different, yes? Yeah. Perfect. Face down like this for you, Simon. Yeah. And now how will you get the red deck? Okay. We don't need the box. Okay. As you can see, these are all different, yes? Yes. Incredible. Now I'm gonna place these face down. Now, the reason for this is because it's going to be your subconscious choice of choosing a card. So hold out your finger over the deck for me like this, both of you, and go left to right for me, left to right, over the deck. Do the same, left to right. And now I want you to look each other in the eyes for me. Whenever you want, place your finger down on one card in your own time. Perfect. And Howie, what one do you want? This one. Perfect. Okay. Now, this is the thing. If you had a connection, then these two cards must match. So take the cards, don't look at them just yet. Take them, pick them up, don't look at them, hold them against your chest. On the count of three, you're gonna show the audience. One, two, three, show the audience. Have a look, have a look, have a look. A perfect match. There we go, right there, a miracle. Incredible. Amazing. But wait, see this way it's interesting, because I wanna take this a step further. So Howie, yes. here I have a blindfold. Please oh. could you put this on for me? Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Now, Howie, I'm just going to touch the back of your hand. You don't mind, do you? Not the back. Can you feel this pressure here? I do feel that. Good. Howie, take a deep breath in and out. We're going to see whether you two are connected. Do you feel this pressure, Howie? Yes. Good. Take a deep breath in. Now, Howie, you're doing great. When you feel this pressure come off, raise your hand slowly to a height of a wine bottle. Only when you feel this pressure come off. Okay. Interesting. Howie, when you feel this pressure come back down, when you feel this pressure come back down, place your hand back down to the table. Okay. Amazing. But wait, but wait, that was me controlling your mind. We're going to see whether you're in sync. Simon, it's in your hands. Point like this. Simon, whenever you want, you're going to control Howie's hand. Just raise your hand slowly in your own time. So I'm controlling Howie. Whenever Howie's. you want. This is incredible, perfect. Thank you so much, how are you doing? Great. Now I've got you two in sync. I want to try the last experiment to see whether you are actually subconsciously connected. Simon, as you can see, I have loads of things here, right? Yeah. Now I want you to choose one of them. Any one you want, just choose one. Perfect, we're going to get rid of that now. Yeah. Hold it in your right hand like this for me. Now, Howie, turn your right hand palm towards the sky for me. Now, just in your imagination, you imagine holding something inside your hand. You focus on the texture, the color, the shape of this thing. Do you imagine something inside your hand now? Yes. What do you imagine holding? A uh, cookie. A cookie. Take off your blindfold and have a look what I've just handed Simon. A cookie. There we go. You guys have a subconscious connection. Yeah. Look at that. How's that done? That was incredible. Hello. My name is Brett Loudermilk, and uh, I'm a sword swallower. Oh. As if you didn't already know that. Uh, I need a woman from the audience to help me out. Let's see who we've got. Oh. Sophia, Hi. can I please use you? Here. I'm not gonna swallow anything. No, 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 you... <laughs> you... No, no, no. No, wait, wait, stay right there. You and I are gonna swallow a sword. I'll, I'll swallow a sword, you're gonna help, okay? Okay. Okay. I'm gonna place the sword into my throat and let go. I'm gonna hold it there with the muscles of my esophagus. I'll snap my fingers, open everything up. It's gonna drop down the rest of the way by itself. It's gonna I... I'll bend myself into halves. I'll turn towards you and wink. When I wink, you grab the sword and you pull it out. No, I'm not yes. going to pull it! Yes. <laughs> what if I kill you? you? You were the wrong choice. Okay. Um, are you, <laughs> you ready? No. Just nice and slow. Okay. Okay, here we go. 
You have to watch. <laughs> My career has led to this. Here we go. Look at his face. Look at his face. I don't want to. I don't want to. Pull it. Pull it. Pull it. You can't do it. Pull out the sword. I can. Just pull it out. It's stuck there. No, it's not. Like it's not stuck. It's not stuck. I promise you. This is so easy. I promise. Okay. Yeah. All right, last time. Okay, here we go. The fear was atrocious. Well, you I don't, don't know, know what, what it felt like when you touch it. It feels like it's stuck in there, and I was going to hurt him. <laughs> <laughs> Is he finished? I've, well, that's not his act. I've got more. No, she. <laughs> <laughs> Well, so, on, please. Okay, thank you. Would you like to see it back on stage? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> May I continue? So, I've decided to bring along this one. Now, this is what we call in the business a wiggly one. Now, because of its shape, when I swallow it, you're going to see the sword through my throat. No, no. Can I pull one out? Seriously? Yeah. No, do you, you... I really want to pull one you out. You really want to pull yeah. one out? Let's yeah. do it. Okay. Come on. Come on! Come on! Wait! Wait! Howie, would you do it too? Are you serious? Yeah, come serious. on. Would you do it too? Well, wait, 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 wait! Let me ask something. You need something. All, right. all three, all three. Wait! I already did it! Come on. Right, find your safety spot. Somebody shout out a number. Three perfect. All right. Good. Oh, it is. just so happens I that I have you. not one, oh. two. not two, you, but three swords. Three swords. That I'm going to swallow at the same time because okay. you asked for it. Really? And each one of you is going to pull out a sword. I'm jazzing right now. This was not planned. I know. I know. Okay. I had right. no idea. Have you done this before? I have a. No, it doesn't matter. Listen. You're going to put all three in your mouth? I'm going to swallow the three swords. You're going to pull out. No, actually, no, I'm sorry. I You're going to pull did. out the last one. Okay, so it's going to be. Are you sure about that? I, I, right as rain. Will you really yeah. wink for this? I'll, I'll wink. I'll wink. So I'm going to go. I'm going to go down the line with swords. In. I've never done this before. Three at once. Three at once. The Here whole we go. Sword. All three. Here we go. Then we'll put no. You start with the top. Yeah, we'll go, 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 go. Okay. Oh. Three swords. Ah! Oh no. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, 
my god. for what you do. That is amazing. I love the choreography. I love the strength. You could see the pressure of what a live show does. There were a couple of foibles, but you were able to get back on the bike and ride. Yes. And you know what? I've always imagined what was going on inside Simon's head when he fell. I would imagine that's what was going on. <laughs> <laughs> Heidi! I mean, you all move with such grace that half of the time I even forgot that you all were on unicycles. I mean, it's a real treat for us here because we don't get to see this kind of stuff a lot of the time. So it's, thank you so much for that. Thank you. Sophia. It's mesmerizing. It's surprising. I don't think this show has ever had something like this. This is unique. This is special. I mean, yes, you did have a little problem, but it doesn't matter. It was spectacular. Yes. Thank you. Simon, what did you think? I think it was incredible. Uh, like they said, we've never seen an act like this before. I think the fact that someone fell over made it even more exciting because it shows, as you said, how difficult this act was. We only saw four of you, as you said, in the VT uh, when we first met you. We were always looking forward to seeing the 12 of you. This is what AGT what Vegas, what the Luxor show is going to be all about. You're giving yourselves a real show. I'm doing fantastic. Yeah, can you tell where I am? I've got a clue. <laughs> I'm at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas with this incredible view behind me of the Strip. Now, judges, you first met Max when he performed his magic and mentalism on the online auditions we did. Since I can't be there with you physically, you know, on the stage, I'm going to try to connect with you guys mentally. Are diamantes. Oh wow. my God! Wow. <laughs> I grew up in a really small town. From an early age, I kind of had the ability to read people, kind of sense what was going on in situations. To kind of entertain myself, I would always kind of put on little shows for my family and my neighbors and started to get a little name around town. And when I was 14 years old, I got my big break. My neighbor hired me to perform for their daughter's sixth birthday. My dream my entire life 
It's been to have my own show on the Las Vegas Strip. And so really, I spent the last 20 years kind of honing this skill set. I finally made the move to Vegas to pursue my dreams, but I had no opportunities to perform. Part of my identity is being a performer and when, and when suddenly you can't do that thing that you identify so heavily with, you feel like you've lost a part of yourself. And so, uh, excuse me, <laughs> it was really tough. Um, now being asked by the judges to perform again, I feel an insane amount of pressure. This is what the last 20 years have been about. I gotta show them something they've never seen before so I can get one of those final spots in the live shows. The last time that I performed you guys, I performed for Sophia and Simon mentioned that he'd like to be involved next time. And so I thought tonight, Simon, I'd actually try and get inside of your head. Are you up for it? Yeah, could be a scary place. <laughs> but before we begin, I want to point out this envelope that's on the table here. This is going to become very important at the end of my act. But for now, I'm going to leave it over here where you guys can keep your eye on it the entire time, OK? Simon, on the table, what I want you to notice is that I have a number of photos of you and your fellow judges. Like you see him here. Yep. Howie there. I'm going to lay them out on the table so you can get a good look at all of them. Heidi, photo of yourself right there. Sophia. And of course, America's favorite host, Terry Crews. Yes. There we go. And then at the top of your screen, you guys will see we have a matching set of photographs that are currently face down. So the object tonight, Simon, is for you to feel a connection to your fellow judges through the photos, through the screen. Okay. Now, before we begin, I need to understand the way that you're wired and the way that you think. So I'm curious, Simon, what is a personality trait that you admire most in another person? Loyalty. In that case, I think we'll start with this one. Simon, I want you to tell me who you're feeling a connection to right now. Terry. Terry, you can see how this starts to shape up. Simon, what is something that you own that you wouldn't sell for any amount of money? The first picture of my son, Eric, being born lying on my chest. Oh, Beautiful. I want to see that. Me too. Starting to understand how you're wired. I'm going to go with this one right here. Tell me, which judge are you feeling a connection to right now? Sophia. I like that you're taking the time to really feel these connections. Um, Simon, one last question. What is your most vivid memory from your childhood? Perhaps a story you've never told anyone. Getting my first Skeletrix car set. You call it slot racing here. Oh, In England, yeah. we yeah. call it Skeletrix. It's a car racing set. We'll go with this one right here and tell me now, who are you feeling a connection to? Howie. Howie. Uh, Slot cars were my favorite. Game on now. Where would you like this one to go, Heidi or yourself? Heidi. Heidi. We're going to place that right there. And then one final photo, of course. Me. They're right in front of you, yep. Now, Simon, you have a very important decision to make. I'm going to count to five. When I get to five, you're going to tell me whether you want to leave everything as it is or whether you want to switch any two photographs. It's up to you. I'm going to count to five, and then you'll let me know. One, two, three, four, five. No, I'm going to keep them where they are. You're going to trust your instincts and keep them where they are. I'm glad yep. you said that, because what you'll notice is that over here on the end, you actually matched Howie with Howie. <laughs> over here on the end, you matched Heidi with Heidi. Over no. here, you ah. matched Simon with Simon, no. Sophia with no. Sophia, oh. and Terry with Terry. Oh. That is five ah. for five, a perfect match. But look, look, look. I told you guys I would raise the bar. Okay. And tonight, I wanted to go not just for improbable, but impossible. And I made my boldest prediction ever, and I placed it over here inside of this envelope. And I asked you to name a personality trait you love in a person, and your answer was loyalty. Oh. Now, if that wasn't crazy enough, we continued on. I asked you for a memory, something you said you would never forget, and you said it was a picture of your son, oh. Eric. Now, then I asked you for a memory, something from your childhood, something no one could know. And you told me it was getting your first car set. Oh. Uh, my name is Jack Williams. Yes. Uh, I am from Indianapolis, Indiana. And I am guessing you are a magician. Close. I am a ventriloquist. Yes. Do you also know 
who is a very good ventriloquist. Right there, exactly. fellow ventriloquist. <laughs> yeah. We actually had three winners so far. Exactly. It's honestly big shoes to fill. Terry was one of the first ventriloquists I ever saw. And when I saw him on the stage, I just thought, like, I just want to do that. That's amazing. That's why I wanted to come here today. I want to do this live, like, on the Vegas Strip. Well, good luck to you. And Thank we you. can't wait to meet Thank your you. friend. <laughs> Guys, give it up for my good buddy, Foster. Ready, buddy? Yeah, here we go. Hello. Here we are, buddy, AGT. My cloud is working. What's your plan? Well, basically, I used you to snuggle me out here, and now I'm going to show my talent. He's funny. Dude. What's your talent? Then chiloquism. <laughs> That's what I'm doing right now. Really? Yes. <laughs> you think you're a better ventriloquist than me? You think you could talk without moving your lips? Well, I don't have any, so yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see who's the better ventriloquist by doing some tongue twisters. I'll start by saying Sally sells seashells by the seashore, and then you go after. Okay, okay. Sally sells sea... Sally, come on, okay. Sally, it's like this. Sally sells seashells by the seashore. Sally sells seashells by the seashore. Sally sells seashells by the seashore. <laughs> Can you do that without moving your mouth? <laughs> no, no, I can't. I love him. I'm gonna do something I said I would never do. You wouldn't. I would. Please. No. I'm gonna throw your voice. What? What? Wow. I threw your voice, it's gone. It's gone, it's over there. Wait, 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 listen, listen, I, I think I hear it coming back. <laughs> what? I... I have your voice. <laughs> and, and that means... I have your voice. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Simon. Yes. Help me. <laughs> Here, here, come here, come here. Oh, that's better. Here, give it up for Foster, everybody. Yeah. 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 Hello. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Thank you very much. It feels really good to be back. I'm here to apologize, and I want to show you that I've grown. I hope you find it in your hearts to forgive me for my past discretions. Well, listen, didn't need to apologize, but I appreciate you doing that. So, welcome. Thank you very much. Are you performing the same thing that you did when you came the first time? No, 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 no. That, that didn't go so well for me the last time. Good luck. Yeah, thank you. So, for those of you here, I do want to apologize. Terry, I know you weren't here last time, but honestly, I wouldn't have made fun of you anyway. You truly shine. You and Howie clearly go to the same barber, just not the same gym. <laughs> Howie, what? look at that marvelous head. You weren't born, you were hatched. <laughs> Howie, I'm sorry, these are just jokes. Remember when you were a comedian? Why are you laughing? Heidi, I'm so sorry you're not here, but I understand why you can't be here today. You are a Sports Illustrated model, and I'm sure you're off on their seniors tour. <laughs> 
On to the lady who puts the more in amor. Hello, Sophia Vergara. Hello. I love you. Oh, come on. That's <laughs> pretty fair. And finally, from beauty to beast. <laughs> Hi, Dad. <laughs> Simon, how are you a vegan and that's the least annoying thing about you? <laughs> that's horrible. I will say I am so excited for your new movie. What's it called? Fifty Shades of Tan? <laughs> oh my God. In closing, yes, I am sorry. I'm sorry that none of the judges were born in this country. So while America's got talent, it does not have a strong immigration policy. <laughs> Welcome to America's Got Thank Talent. You. What's your name? My name is Mia Morris. Hi, Mia Morris. And how old are you, Mia? I'm 17, junior in high school. Where are you, where are you from? Nashville, Tennessee. Obviously, you go, you go to school. I do, unfortunately, yes. Unfortunately? <laughs> You're not enjoying school? School schmool, it is what it is. I agree. Ah, could live without <laughs> it, you know. That's funny. And what are you gonna be doing for us tonight? So I'm a songwriter. I'm gonna be playing one of my songs, but I'm also a multi-instrumentalist. Um, and I'm... <laughs> I'm playing as a one-woman band. How do you play as a one-woman band? How do you play everything? With this here loop pedal. Oh, looping. Explain to the people what looping is. So I like to describe a loop pedal as a recording studio at your feet. Right. I'll show you. Check. This is what a loop pedal does. This is what a loop pedal does. This is what a loop pedal does. So you record each individual sound yourself and then it plays on a loop and hopefully it comes together and, and magic and happens. Hope, hopefully it comes together, yes. I love that. Is this what you want to do for a living? Like, what's the dream? My dream is to share my music and my writing with the world. Wow. Yeah. I cannot wait to hear what you do. Thank you. I like this kind of thing. I just think you're a star. I think looping is so cool. Thank you. The fact that you're playing every instrument, I could watch a concert, I could watch you doing this. I, I just love what you did. Heidi, what do you think? I thought it was a lot of fun. One woman show. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Sophia? I think you're one of the coolest girls that's been standing in that stage. Simon? 
I think Mia, you know, look, it was at times a bit, of, a bit of a mess, but then again, it should be. You know, it's kind of like it's all done in the moment, so therefore it's not perfect, but it shouldn't be perfect, which is why I loved it so much. Thank you. I'd rather listen to somebody like you who's original and talented rather, rather than someone who comes with some horrible backing track and sings a song I've heard a million times. This year, it's all about originality. I can do that. We're going to vote really quickly. I'm giving you your first yes. Thank you. Ready? I give you a second yes. Thank you. Sophia. I love you, yes. Thank Three you. Three yeses. Just genius, Mia. Absolutely genius. Four yeses. Four yeses! Thank you guys so much! I love that. Yeah, that was cool. That was so I cool. It was cool. It was cool. Let's go! So good, baby. That was great. Thank you so much. My name is Kevin Miku. I am 32, and I am a mentalist. Ever since I can remember, I was interested in the human brain. When I went to the university, I learned about the brain, about the science, or how oh, your brain speaks and understands something. When I told people I want to be a mentalist, people thought I was crazy. I was practicing mentalism in secret. But my family was always there for me. Okay. Hello. I love you. I love you. I will be proud to show my daughters, doesn't matter what people say, if you love something, do it. My biggest dream is to have my own show in Las Vegas, and that's why I'm here in AGT. This is my chance to show that I'm supposed to be doing this. Hi. Hello. What is your name? My name is Kevin. Hi, Kevin, and where are you from? France. Where else? <laughs> Silly me. <laughs> Welcome to America. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you. And what do you do in France? Mentalism. Ooh, Mentalism? Wow. Yes. Uh, how old are you? I'm 32 since yesterday. Oh, happy happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday. Oh, happy birthday. So how long have you been doing mentalism? 12 years. So you do it full time for a living? Now, yes. And what is the reason that you wanted to be here on America's Got Talent? When, when you love something, you want to share with as much people as possible. And this is the biggest stage of the world. Yeah, yeah. That's wonderful. Go ahead. Mentalize. I'm going to show you a mind transmission performance, but between you, judges, and Mr. Terry Crews. Right. Come on, Terry. Okay, on. I got you. Mind transmission. Thank you so much. Right, so I come to you. Okay, here we have got photos of AGT finalists from all the seasons of the show. Ladies, you will pick one each, and without showing it, look at it, then put it under your cup. Heidi, put your finger on a photo. That okay, one. take it, keep your finger. Perfect, thank you, that's yours, no worries. <laughs> Sophia, put your finger on a photo. This. That one, take it. Okay, now, let's do this. Put it under your cup, he said. Now, I'm gonna extract the mind of Terry. Then, grab your thoughts and put it inside. And so, do a mind transmission. Keep your concentration and your eyes closed from now till the end. And imagine, imagine me extracting the mind from your head. And going inside. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, then deeper to your memories. This is crazy. Ladies, think about your contestants. 
their talents, their props. Heidi, I'm gonna extract the contestant from your mind. Does it make sense? Sofia? Think about your contestants. Does it make sense? Then, Terry, imagine your mind coming back to your head. And open your eyes. Take these boys and write the names of the two contestants you felt. Terry. Okay. It's all up to you. Show us the board. No! No, no! Is that correct? It is. Oh, 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 oh. 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 And Shimmy. Wait, one last thing. Judges, at the very beginning, I left a photo of myself here. The other reason why I left it even before you chose your contestants is because this photo contains my prediction. Whoa! Thank you. So good! I mean, seriously, good. Round of applause for Terry, oh, come on! Thank you! That was amazing. Heidi, what'd you think? I mean, we need one of those brain things that you had there. That was incredible. I've never seen anything like it before. And what you've done from my brain to Terry's, it was incredible. Thank you. Sophia! I don't even know what to say. That was so much fun and it was such a different thing to watch. Thank you so much. And Simon? This, this act was sensational, absolutely sensational. It was taking this kind of act into the future. It was unlike anything we've ever seen before. This is a Vegas act, absolutely brilliant. Thank you. The magic is far beyond anything I have seen before. That was appearing in front of us. Those graphics were just floating in the air. I saw Terry Cruz's brain in front of me. It was crazy. I think that's amazing. I've never seen anything like it. I'm so excited. I'm going to start off the voting with a, as you would understand, we. Oh, good job. I give you your second we. We've had so many wees today, and now you've got a fourth wee. <laughs> wee, 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 wee. Thank you. Is that the most what amazing? Is that? I thought I was watching something on my phone. What is it? It's magic.